No, that's not bad. <laughs> that's a pretty good match, if you ask me. But we've got to take this out anyway. Extend it up to the door. So there's still plenty to do. These cavities are going to be hard. But I've just ground everything out so we can pick and choose which ones we toed out as we go up. Right, let's get cracking then. Make some Right, good morning from Lydiate. We've just finished the job in Lydiate across the road. Well, about half a mile away. But uh, we're back here. You may recognise our recent lintel job. It's got the new window. So there's the window. Scaff's gone now. Now we're onto the porch. Paul's already kindly moved up. Took all the frames out for us this morning, last night and this morning. So, two's up here, inside and out. Brick back up. Same in the far window, two they're all out, break it back up. Cut that down there, cut that down there, take that out, door, and then break this section up, two they're all out. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to have a door in it, all the windows are going. So that's today's job, is get all the, uh, the cutting out and the toothing done, and uh, we're going to we're going to reuse the ones that we're taking out from the door, and this is our this is our stash, which I think is quite a good match. Not bad. Very hard to get hold of this stuff now. No, that's not bad. That's a pretty good match, if you ask me. And don't forget that's weathered as well, so that the uh, little white stones will come through more. That is cracking match, that. So I'm going to try and get all the grinding done in this first hour, so get me some cream on. <laughs> you all set? The steel's jobs took it out of us, hasn't it? Four long days, that wasn't it? Oh my god, yeah. We'll probably get minimum two videos out of that, maybe even three. It was a monster job. Right, let's get cracking then. Make some mess. And there's the aftermath. Everything's just like haze of buff. <coughs> so doors out. Just taking all these out now. Open up the cavity. We're really looking up. I'm on there now. Alex is cleaning up the stones we took out from the door to reuse. We've lost a few. Which you always will. But we've got to take this out anyway. Extend it up to the door. So there's still plenty to do, these cavities are going to be hard, but I've just ground everything out so we can pick and choose which ones we toed out as we go up. So yeah, coming along, I'm not sure what time it is. 
20 to 12. Whew. I'm going to try and get a bit of stonework down today and we've got to take the Echoes back to Hodgson's this afternoon in Bursko. So we'll just keep cracking on. Right, so Alex is just tidying up inside. Mortar's mixed, small mix. We're just trying to get as much face work done as we can before we go. It's meant to be bad tomorrow, so we'll drop inside. We'll drop on the weathered, the non-weathered side of the porch. Make sure everything's covered tonight. So I'm going to make a start for in the door, the X door. Yeah, so um, we'll switch back to time after that. We're rolling. Good morning. Morning. Back at Lydia. Uh, we, we What'd you call me? <laughs> we just had a mad dash to Fairwoods to get our gear. We took the Acros back last night but we missed Fairwoods. So there's Alex's bit yesterday, squaring the door up. Made a nice job of that because bear in mind he hasn't used this stuff properly before. And then I got the uh, the door bricked up. So we've got this to go, both skins. This to bring up all the way up that section to back up and that to do both skins it's just having a door so that's our progress so far we've done all the two then what we're doing is as we go we take them out as we go so we're using that, the new sabre saw to cut them so we can get nice two in without knack knackering all the stonework up absolutely fantastic bit of kit that so first things first I'll actually get a mix in and then I'm going to get the uh, 
get the vertical cut done for the DPC and get the rest of that one done on that side. So first things get a bit dusty. So as usual, once time lapse for a bit. Outside skin, so the doors set up. I'm currently on the outside getting this done before it rains as much as I can. And Alex is going inside on this window. Um, we're going to have to change this here. You can probably just see the bottom bit there where it's been cut. So we're going to have to tooth that out and make it face work to match the rest of the door jam. Because obviously that's going to be the door, so it's all seen. It's not like it gets plastered, it's got to be face work. So this needs fettle in there as well. I'm going to do the same down this edge. And then return the rest of it so it looks like that with a vertical damp in it. So um, yeah, that's it. I'm jumping on this bit. I'm just going to go and join the outside of that and then we're out of the way of the ground, the landscapers then. We're completely out of their way then. Everything's inside or hope or this end.
You've always been able to rely on us to bring you regular updates throughout the day. But now you can rely on us to bring you the latest headlines, updates and coverage whenever you want. Just ask your smart speaker to play BBC News and one of the team will be with you right away. Our own prices from October and a campaign to save an alpaca stud who's tested positive for TB. History has been made at the Tokyo Olympics with the cyclist Laura Kenny becoming the first British female Olympian to win a gold medal at the Olympic Games, a victory in the Madison event alongside Katie Archibald. The gold also means Kenny joins the dressage rider Charlotte. Well, I approach to this and none of it would have happened uh, without Monica. We had a, a change of coach last year, totally overhauled our entire approach to this event and I feel like we're going after the all round of this Olympics, you know. There was also yeah. bronze in the velodrome for Jack Carlin in the men's race. Team GB then secured his 18th gold medal of the Games as Kate Stinner on the standard variable rate would pay an extra £139 a year, a typical prepayment cut. The minister tasked with chairing the UN Climate Change Summit in Glasgow in the autumn is facing criticism following reports that he's flown to 30 countries in the past seven months. Nick Sharman has been accused of hypocrisy because aviation is a major emitter of carbon dioxide. The government said some face-to-face -face meetings were crucial for negotiating transport, visiting hospitals and care homes, or in crowded other places. It's a small thing you do individually, but cumulatively, it makes a real difference. The live events welcome the government's decision to protect UK music.
Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Our cats were happy and content before this cat came along. And now, when I approached them initially to speak to them, I, I told her that the cat was like uh, jumping on our cat's back for my height, to take it down onto the ground to bite its neck. Um, it's had wounds around its neck. We've had loads of best bills. It has been to cheer her on to one. Why don't you keep the cat at the same time? But I wanted them to keep keep their cat control within their garden. Let's ask the lawyer, Trevor, if, if one cat is jumping on another cat from a height, is there any law against that? Right, but if you can show that this cat has dangerous characteristics which the, the owner knew about, and the cat continues with that behaviour and causes you loss of damage, then you might well be able to sue to recover those losses that you've incurred. So it might be worth... Well, uh,
we have it, job done. So there used to be, I forgot now, yeah, it should be a window. So we've cut the door out and obviously bricked up next to the window. We had window here, which has been bricked up. And then the original door, she came in into the porch that way. So basically we've moved the door, bricked up all the windows, so it's just the door. It's mainly for him, um, so they've got plenty of storage space inside. And obviously the door is opposite the door now, and it's going to be straight down, straight out to the pillars. So, come in. It's all double, double face. So, they've just finished this bit now. There's the door. And there's the window. Alex has done all that. Bear in mind this is Alex's first go with this stuff. He's done all the inside skin. And he's done the whole of the front. Which is good because that's the main bit you see. And I don't think he's made a lovely job of that. Made up with that. That's his first go properly on it. And then I've done the door. And the outside of the window. And then Alex finished the top of the window off today. See the section he's done today. And then it got a bit tight then, so I ended up on there on my own. But yeah. This is uh this is for Paul again. There's the little job we did. So um yeah we're all done now. So don't forget a like drop a comment in and uh, press that subscribe button we're heading for we're aiming at 20,000 as soon as we can we're getting there pretty quick so uh, yeah see you in the next one